Hey, everybody. I told you, I've been saying, and I'm sorry, hope everybody's doing well. I have been saying quite some time now that what? The world is watching. The world is watching black women. All we have to do is sit back with our popcorn and watch the show. Check this out. I find it hilarious that black American women are so massively triggered by the passport rules. <laughs> yeah, of course black American women are triggered by the passport rules. There is nothing wrong with black American men going overseas to get a wife. The thing is that along the way, y'all be talking shit and mopping the floor with black American women and saying that it is their fault that y'all have to go overseas to get a wife. You see, you blaming black American women for things that are men's faults. For example, in your video, you say that black American women have the highest rate of having fatherless child. And who fault is that, my man? You could blame her for being with the wrong guy. You could blame her for having a child before getting married. But that doesn't change the fact that a black man is the one that abandoned that child. Start taking responsibility for your own act. Whoa. Man is the one that abandoned that child. S say what? One more again. For being with the wrong guy, you could blame her for having a child before getting married, but that doesn't change the fact that a black man is the one that abandoned that child. Start taking responsibility for your own act. And as you can see, you said the passport bros are locals. <laughs> Crazy. <sighs> Maybe they should just get off social media. I keep telling you the world is watching and you wonder why no one's investing in the black men collectively. Common sense is lacking. Every, the preferences are hollering about it. Becky's talking about it. The Asian guys are talking about it. Hispanic people are talking about it. I just have a video. It's on my list. Way down. Oh my gosh, so many. What did the Asian men say? They know about the passport bros. And you know what they say they call them? L-B-H. Losers back home. What the Asian man said about the passport bros, losers back home. Again, sisters, the world is watching. All we have, everybody can see the degeneracy of the collective of black men. They act like you ate a pepperoni pizza and got yourself pregnant. Again, who what? He doesn't want to take responsibility. And they, they're they trying to play like a Jedi mind trip, a pip game. Everybody sees through it. These men are creating fatherless homes and want to blame everybody else. And I'm sorry. That's why this group is subjugated the way it is. I just saw um, someone sent a video to me. And they were, it was about the black man that was a, I guess he was incarcerated and eaten up by the back bugs. He died because I guess I never heard about it. The bad bugs got him. And I was like, whoa, I never heard of that happening. So it, it had to be like a, you know, a major issue. You know what I'm saying? There had to be a festation for that to occur. And I thought about it. And then some people said, oh, he was in jail. He shouldn't have been in jail. They say he stole something. And then I saw the video about the, you know, saying, oh yeah, too many black men in jail. And I just told a friend of mine and we're, you know, we're different and we're cool. She said to me, you know, um, and she's pro Biden. That's okay. We can agree to disagree. Still love her. I'm like, well, Biden put most of them in there. I'm sorry to say orange hair. Trump was letting some out. Just saying. So I'm not about to get into a whole big old deal about, oh, incarceration. Black men be wrongfully incarcerated. Biden put him in there with a 94 crime bill. Nonviolent, he put you in there and you were okay with it and you voted for him. Okay? So 
I'm not going to hop on this bandwagon with you about, about this. Secondly, I hate to tell you this, a lot of them commit crimes. You know what I'm saying? Nonviolent people, yeah. But I'm saying, I, you know, I told her, a lot of them commit crimes against black women. And that could be why some black women said, hey, that 94 crime bill is not, uh, I'm not averse to it. They've been victimized by black men and they most support Biden. And that's okay. But a lot of black men commit crimes against black women. So I'm not going to sit up here and just, you know, oh, you know, get into a whole big whoop de doo Let the men handle it. They commit crimes against black women every day by, guess what, entering into their lives and causing havoc. So I'm not on the, you know, get all upset because of one, I mean, what happened is unfortunate and it doesn't it deserve to die by the bed bugs. No, but I'm not going to abuse my energy because every day I look up, some black woman is being murked by a black man. Every day I look up, some black woman and child is being murdered by a black man. That's why I've been saying they work for the Klan. So every day you look up, they get on YouTube, the internet, social media, and just down black women. They create these fatherless homes and then run like a freaking ca spineless coward. And say, look at her, look at her. She a baby mama, she a baby mama. But that's the woman you created. And then you're trying to run a pimp game, play a Jedi mind trick like you didn't cause the problem. And everybody can see it's you. This is what they do. Run around, get some women pregnant. Run around, get some women pregnant. Cause fatherless homes, abandon them, and want to blame the woman. They're like little boys, dysfunctional, poverty D children. And that's why the community looks the way it looks. Everybody, look at look at Tyrese. Are you trying to galvanize some kind of cavalry or protest against child support? Don't want to take care of your children? Everybody sees them for who they are. Black women, we gonna sit back and get the popcorn. Have the highest rate of having fatherless child. Who does? Who does? Men's fault. For example, in your video, you say. The black American women have the highest rate of having fatherless child. And who fault is that, my man? You could blame her for being with the wrong guy. You could blame her for having a child before getting married. But that doesn't change the fact that a black man is the one that abandoned that child. You see how dumb Dusty's are? Everybody can see. He, he not only abandoned the child, he abandoned the mother. That's why it blows my mind to see black women being baby mama still. Lo I, for what? Everybody can see. Black women, we don't have to do anything. That's why I'm not coming to these men's defense. I'm not. No, uh -uh. whatever happens to him, that's a black man issue. Let the black men handle it. And Biden locking him up with that 94 crime bill. I'm not a Biden supporter. But you know what? I, I and I just I speak my truth. Look at all the crimes committed against black women now by black men. Maybe Biden knows them better than we, some of us do. Seriously, look at all the crimes committed. And then when they get locked up, oh, these black women got these black men in jail, child support. But you, you know going into it, if you put a child here, that you owe a financial obligation. See, what works in the B.C. doesn't work on Main Street. The degeneracy is not, not accepted. It's, it's, it's not. 
What works in the BC does not work on Main Street. See, you, it's okay just to sit up here in the BC and abandon your child and then put on some black women's and they'll blame for it. That's the BC. The, the dysfunction is on display. If you want to see a cartoon, turn on the BC. Look, look at Black America. Look on. You, listen. You don't need this or anything. You don't need these uh, little channel, Cartoon Network. You want to see a cartoon? Just stand back and look at the BC. Look, look at the thought processes. Getting women pregnant, creating fatherless homes, abandoning a child. Like people don't know. When they see the kid, kid gets in trouble. Kid get hurt, get shot. Kid in poverty. Well, it's a black mama. That's so he done run off and left him. Things happen at the school. Who shows up the black mama? Uh oh, something's happened. Kids hurt, shot on the news. Who's a black mama? Where, where's the father? I mean, this is how dumb they are. And they, the, the only ones who's buying the, uh, drinking the Kool Aid, the dis dysfunctional Kool Aid, are the mammies, young and old, the mammies. Everybody, every culture can see. Every culture can see. So, black women, we can just, when they have these issues, again, they, we, I may do a video on it, but that's about it. They have these issues. I'm not worried about them. Let them handle it. The Cartoon Network starring what the Negro men, the Negro menses, the baby daddies. Whole other cartoon. Timbaland boots and all. Jay's Nike on their old dysfunctional feet. Everybody can see. And that's the sad part. So here they are. Talk about poetic justice. Look at the karma. Here they are trying to call out black women and fault black women for everything. And everybody can see, uh, no fool, the problem is you. Everybody can see. They cannot see their own dereliction. They cannot see their own dysfunctional behavior. But see, that's what happens when you have mammies raising children and coddling the men. They raise a black woman to be a darn soldier. Get out there, soldier, and make it happen. You got one job, you got a few hours in between, you can get two. And Mammy soon up her just calling these old no good sons. And they create fatherless homes and want to blame the women. <laughs> Did the women get themselves pregnant? Again, there's a video of the Asian guy. He's like, we need the passport bros lose us back home. And they think it's some kind of badge. The Kangdomless Kangs. Some of them don't even have a lease in their name. Kangdomless Kang. And I keep saying what? The world is what? Watching. The world is watching. And they are giving them a hell of a show. Again, remember Tyrese? He's trying to sit up there and get a cavalry going over a child support order. And update. I have a video coming. <laughs> he was ordered to pay back arrears and interest. Yes, back child support, arrears on child support, interest, and legal fees. The total came to up over $600,000. I think it might be time for you, boy, to get back in the studio. No other group of men complains about taking care of their children than like these black men. So one more time, everybody can see the man here says, what the passport bros are locals. Black women, we don't have to do nothing. It's like having a fool. Let the fool just keep on talking. Keep, let them, uh-huh. Interesting. Let them keep on going. Just sit back, honey, get your man and your petty a spa day, and just watch. Everybody sees it for who they are, except the mammies. You say the black American women have the highest rate of having fatherless child. And who fault is that, my man? You could blame her for being with the wrong guy. You could blame her for having a child before getting married. But that doesn't change the fact that a black man is the one that abandoned that child. And start taking responsibility for your own act. Whoa. Doesn't change the fact that what? I thought she chased him from the my home. Man. You could blame her for being with the wrong guy. You could blame her for having a child before getting married. But that doesn't change the fact that a black man is the one that abandoned that child. And they're trying to put us down. <laughs> Ladies, again, misery loves company. The world is watching. We don't have to say a thing. 
the world is watching the degeneracy of the bc and guess what honey the star ain't the black woman no it's the dust bucket father's home making black man feel free to comment like subscribe and share i would love to hear your thoughts simply sat on youtube and i'm out